As we continue our Sermon on the Mount series, today we examine Matthew 5, 13 through 16. These verses follow the Beatitudes and declare who Jesus' followers are to be in the world, salt and light. As disciples of Jesus, we play an active role in bearing witness to his kingdom as we engage the world around us. The value of salt in biblical times was immense. The wages of Roman soldiers were given in salt. Greeks considered salt to hold a divine value, and the Mosaic law, noted in Leviticus, required that all Israelite offerings contain salt. We also know that salt stops decay. So when Jesus used the metaphor of salt, the disciples understood the importance of what he was speaking to them. Darkness is the absence of light. Absence of light doesn't exist when there is the presence of light. In biblical times, light came from pottery lamps that included a linen wick which burned olive oil. The amount of light given off was minimal, so the disciples knew why Jesus said not to put light under a bowl. Who would ever do such a thing? Why does salt and light matter today? Pastor John Stott said, quote, We should not ask what is wrong with the world, for that diagnosis has already been given. Rather, we should ask, what has happened to the salt and light? End quote. Have you ever heard someone say, in times like these? From the time of Jesus until today, Christians have been a valuable gift to the world, being salt and light in times like these. Christianity was not recognized as a legitimate religion until the 4th century, and in the early days of the church, Christians were executed, thrown to wild animals, and faced imprisonment. Jesus needed the disciples to be salt and light in times like these. Today, many in our country are lost as our nation becomes more and more anti-Christian. Jesus needs us to be salt and light in times like these. Violence and destruction are in the news more and more every day. Jesus needs us to be salt and light in times like these. Most of us have read the last book of the Bible. We know hard times are going to keep coming. Jesus needs us to be salt and light in times like these. Salt sitting inside a shaker, an unlit lamp at night. Both are valuable commodities, but they are useless if they are not set into motion. What has happened to the salt and light? Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We wanna faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.